Hey there, how are you doing team? Nokia Power User here and we welcome you all to the unboxing first setup and impressions video of Nokia 8, the affordable flagship from HMD. So in this video, we'll talk about uh, Nokia 8 specs. We will do, uh, I mean, we'll also talk about our impressions of the device when we hold it in our hand and we will do the first setup. We will walk you through the first set of it. Of it. So before doing all that, let's have a look at the <coughs> retail box which is attractive yet uh, it looks like uh, similar themed to what we have seen in the case of Nokia 3, 5 and 6. So all the retail boxes of Nokia 3, 5, 6 and 8 are based on the same similar kind of theme. So it's like a new, uh, you know, a new version of the connecting, uh, connecting hands or connecting people from Nokia. So one more thing that is uh, really noticeable here is that it is a made in India device. So uh, HMD is uh, standing true to its promise when it had said that all the phones which will be sold in India will be uh, made in India. So this actually helps HMD not only keeping the cost low, it also helps in, you know, uh, kind of because many people like to buy a made in India phone. So it, it, it is uh, really a good strategy if you ask me. So uh, Nokia 8 has gone uh, on sale today in India for a price of RS36999. So this pricing for a flagship on the, and on uh, top of that a Nokia flagship is really sweet if you ask us. You, you can actually, uh, I mean you can actually uh, go to Nokia Power User to check uh, the links on which you can buy Nokia 8 online. Okay now coming to the unboxing part. Let's quickly check the specs, major specs which have been mentioned here on the box. So as you can see, uh, it comes with Android 7.1.1 Nougat uh, out of the box. It's powered by Snapdragon 835, has a 5.3 inch uh, 2K screen with 554 ppi uh, pixel density, 4GB RAM, 64GB storage. India would not get the, uh, the variant with 6GB RAM. That's a bad news, but yes. It would not as per our information so far. The uh, I mean biggest highlight is highlight uh, is the fact that both rear and front cameras come with this optics. So this is the first ever smartphone. So usually only Nokia uh, I mean phones uh, have featured uh, this optics. So this is the first Nokia or first ever smartphone to feature this optics in both front and rear cameras. Now coming to the third, I mean one more highlight which is Nokia Ozo Audio which allows you to capture 3D spatial surround sound, 360 degree audio capture and playback. So now let's unbox the device. <clears throat> so here it comes. Yeah, so here is your uh, Nokia 8. Oh, let's quickly check the color. <clears throat> okay, so it seems that we have a silver model sent to us by HMD. Quickly check, let's quickly check what else is in the box. So uh, the standard um, SIM tray, uh, SIM tray uh, tool to remove it and put a uh, SIM card and SD card. Then sorry, then the Nokia 8 get started booklet and here we have the headphone. Oh, okay. Let's quickly check how is the headphone. So whether it's different or same. Okay. So it seems that the headphone on uh, Nokia 8 is a bit different from what we have seen on Nokia 3, 5 and 6. It comes with three buttons which perhaps uh, serve the purpose of uh, picking up the call, ending the call and maybe changing the radio stations or something like that. So it, it, it is a bit uh, bit better headset uh, than what you may have seen on Nokia 3, 5 and 6. Okay, <clears throat> now okay. coming to other things. Okay. So here you have, okay, so this is a USB-C connector. So Nokia 8 uh, comes with USB-C, so a different connector for that. Then you have the charger here, so the charger will uh, work with only USB-C connector. 
so this is how uh, what we uh, got from the, the unboxing of Nokia 8 all the stuff in one place Now uh, time to play with Nokia 8 and share our first impression of how it looks like. So when Nokia 3 was launched, many people uh, told that it, it looks a bit like Nokia 5. Many were disappointed, many were fine with it. If you have uh, read our uh, Nokia uh, Nokia 5 review, uh, you may have uh, you may you may have uh, already. Uh, I mean kind of realize that Nokia 5 comes with a very very elegant kind of design the design is uh, less I mean if you feel have Nokia 5 and 6 in your hand Nokia 5 uh, you know is thinner slimmer so it's kind of a flagship kind of design already and even if Nokia 8 has a bit of similarity it, it's not really very similar to uh, you know Nokia 5 in your hand at least when you hold this Nokia 8 it feels more robust than Nokia 5, which uh, we have used as a as, as a daily driver for a long time, for I think around 40, 45 days before writing a review. So it, it's design wise, it is uh, much more robust. It feels very, uh, you know, kind of have that kind of Nokia robustness kind of feel when you hold this in your hand. But at the same time, it is very slim. And uh, the, you know, like, kind of uh, you have that uh, that kind of uh, what we can say uh, impression that it's very slim that uh, the feel the thing that it has tapered edges adds to that impression so what we are trying to say is that not only it's slim or thin it also feels like slimmer than it really is because of the tapered edges so design wise it looks like a beauty and at the same time looks very robust so i will say that it has both the you know goodness of nokia 6 which is really robust when you uh, have your nokia 6 in your hand you will feel that it's very very robust device very very uh, well built and it has elegance of nokia 5 very slim tapered edges nokia 6 does not come with tapered kind of it's a rectangular edges which you will see on nokia 6 sharper but with the tapered edges, very slim design and extra robustness, it is what is a Nokia flagship. We can clearly say so. When we had reviewed Nokia 5 and 6, we told you repeatedly that both have both come with a flagship like design. But when you have Nokia 8 in your hand, then you will really say that it's very elegant, it's very well built, and it's very robust. We are very happy with the design. Even when we had uh, conducted a poll on Nokia Power User, many people really i think majority of them liked the nokia 8 design many told us that no it looks like any i mean any other device or any other flagship but when you really have a nokia device in your hand then only you know why it is called a nokia flagship or nokia quality now let's talk about uh, the different components here so you see the sim tray sim and micro sd cards tray so as we uh, know that uh, just like nokia 6 it it also has the same kind of you know hybrid uh, sim and uh, sd card so either you have one sim one sd card or you have two sims now uh, the camera is a special so it comes with the first dual lens aziz camera so that camera is uh, i mean it's, it's first i mean it's first device uh, with dual lens this camera so obviously many uh, we have lots of expectation with it and we will put it against lumia 1020 for uh, amazing quality so for now you can just check the camera okay now you have uh, the volume rocker power button and the five uh, I mean, headphone jack which has now become a feature because uh, most of the flagships are uh, not don't have it so it's a feature which i will say that is available in nokia 8 uh, in the bottom you talk about you have the speakers in the same position that you have seen on Nokia 3, 5 and 6. Then it's a USB uh, slot, USB-C slot. So here you see Nokia 8 from all the possible angles. 
The device is a beauty with very, very robust profile. And we are already loving it. Let's quickly uh, boot it up. So, uh, the typical uh, first screen after boot. So, it asks uh, for inserting SIM card. We will skip it for now. We will post a separate video. We will set up it as a new just to check. Let's quickly pick, uh, put the password here. And uh, it connects to the IP, I mean to the Wi Fi. Checking for updates. Okay, so we will uh, again skip this part. You, if you have a Google account, you can just put your Google account, a Google uh, ID and password and configure it. But for we, for now, we are skipping it. So you should sign in with your Google account so that you can take help or get, uh, you know, benefit of this kind of, uh, you know, these features like download apps, music, etc. Backup to your apps to Google and sync, activate device protection features, so, etc. So you can uh, sign in with your Google account for now. Let's skip it. <clears throat> and let's quickly go to the home screen. So it's asking for a name. And let's give it a name. It comes with a fingerprint scanner and that is so much okay so we just missed telling you about that so it has a fingerprint scanner uh, mated to the home button just like on nokia 3 5 and uh, nokia 5 and 6. we will skip that too okay let's finish it and we are here and it already uh, seems that it's showing an update for us so what is the system update so okay so october uh, security update is already here for nokia 8 and we had covered that on nokia browser now good news for everyone who likes to keep their devices updated so this is how nokia 8 display looks like this is your first encounter with the display Display is very, very bright. We will obviously test the display in the way we have tested displays for other devices. We will do lots of things as we uh, put Nokia 8 through our extensive testing and we will bring more videos to you. So stay tuned for a lot more on Nokia 8 in coming days. Hope you have liked the video. Stay tuned. Keep watching. Thanks.